message is revealed on the paper. How does that work? A magic paper dreamer. And just like that, the two circles magically turn into a square. Wave my finger across and the word magic appears. Like this? Welcome back to How To Magic. Oh, magic! I am your host, Evan Era. Today I'm showing you six easy tricks with paper. So if you're ready, hit that thumbs up button and let's go. This first one's a cool trick with paper that we're gonna do together. Check it out. Okay, this one is a really cool interactive magic trick. I'm going to attempt to read your mind through the internet. So all you have to do is take your finger and place it on the screen somewhere. If there's multiple people watching, just elect one person to place their finger right here on start. So we're gonna place our finger right here on start. Now that you've done that, I want you to think of any number between five and 15. So any number between five and 15, think of it now and lock that number in your mind. That's gonna be your special number. So now that you have your number locked in your mind, you're going to count that many spaces on our little clock here. We've got a bunch of different numbers on the clock. So all you're gonna do is just count forward your special number. So if you picked five, you would go one, two, three, four, five, and land here. And then so on and so forth around the clock face. If your number was between five and 15 and it was a little bit higher than five, you would just keep going around. So now that you've landed on your number, I'm going to go ahead and remove these. Now, keep your special number locked in your mind, but keep your finger where you've landed on the clock face. What I want you to do is count in the opposite direction. We were just going around like this, and now we're gonna go around this way in the opposite direction. I want you to count your same special number that you have in your head this direction. So if we were five and we were here, we would go one, two, three, four, five in the opposite direction around the clock face just like that. And once you've landed on a number with your finger, stop there. Give you a moment to do that. Okay, now we're going to remove a few of these. I know you're not on the 12, so I'm going to remove that. I also know that you're not on the six, so I'll remove that as well. I don't think you'd be on the four, so we'll take that out too. And I think we can safely remove the eight, because I don't think you're there either. Now, I want you to just randomly choose in either direction around the clock face. You can choose either way you want, and only move four jumps, four spaces. So uh, if you were here, you could move one, two, three, four that way, or one, two, three, four this way. Uh, so whichever way you want to go, four spaces, do that now. Okay, now you've landed on a random number. I have no way of knowing what this is. But I can safely remove the 10, because I don't think you're there. And I think I can also remove the one. Now, here in the middle of the table is a candle in a paper circle, a blank white paper circle that's been sitting there the entire time. Think about the number that you have your finger on currently and lock it in your mind. Check this out, watch the piece of paper. Is the number you were thinking of three? If you landed on three, give the video a thumbs up and I'll teach you the secret in just a moment. All right, here's how it's done. I'm about to reveal a secret. The secret to this trick is extremely simple and I'll teach you how it's done right now. All you're going to need is a lemon, some cotton swabs, some matches, a candle, and of course, a piece of paper. Your next step is to slice the lemon and you're just going to swab a little bit of the lemon juice and you're gonna use this to write on the paper. So now you want to let the lemon juice completely dry on the paper and once it dries, it will be completely invisible. You're going to move the candle underneath the paper just like this, but it will start to reveal the message on the paper just like this. That. So what's actually happening here and causes this, the lemon juice actually has a weak acid that is causing a breakdown of the carbon in the paper so that when you apply heat to it, it's actually oxidizing and that's what's causing it to appear a darker color than the rest of the paper. Okay, I have a cool trick to show you with this little piece of paper here. Do me okay. a favor, check that out. 
inspect it, make sure there's nothing uh, tricky about it. Uh, no. So check it out, I'm gonna take it and stuff it down in my hand, just okay. like this. You can see it going inside, just like that. Okay. Now watch if I just squeeze like this. <laughs> it magically turns. Yeah, I see. Don't see? You have a little on your hand. I bet. Okay, here's all you need to pull this one off. You're going to need a magic fake thumb tip, available at EvaneraTV.com in kids and adult sizes. You're also going to need a little piece of white paper and some confetti. You're gonna take a little bit of this and conceal it in your hand. And our thumb tip is gonna go right on top of it. We're gonna make a fist around all of this. We can then present the little piece of paper to our audience and we're gonna stuff it down inside the thumb tip. Then once you've stuffed the paper down inside the thumb tip, your thumb is gonna go down inside and remove the thumb tip just like like this and then as you open your hand just blow the confetti and it looks like the paper is just magically shredded in your hand so okay. check this out V. I have a little paper loop here Swirl. it's a strip and it's like one solid loop though just check that out and make sure it's like one solid loop yes yeah okay cool so I have some scissors here and I'm actually <laughs> going to cut it into two loops I'm gonna cut it in half so watch we're gonna snip it right here just like that now watch I'm gonna cut into two loops So here we go, we're about to cut it right there. Now check this out, it forms into two loops, but look, they're actually linked together, just like that. Whoa, how does that work? Crazy. Yeah. So all you're going to need for this is one strip of paper and you're going to twist it once and then twice. And you're going to join them in a loop and then you're gonna tape it in place just like that. And now it's really self-working. All you have to do is cut this in half and the magic is done for you. And when you reach the end right here and snip it, it will automatically create two rings just like this. It is super easy to do and really amazing. Okay, I have a cool card trick to show you. So we have a bunch of different cards in the deck here, so full deck. Yes. Uh, I just want you to choose any card you want. Let's grab one. This perfect. Hey. Uh, this one. All right. So take a look at it. Show the camera. Perfect. Put it back in the deck wherever you would like. Perfect. Okay. It's gonna go back inside. Now, I, uh, I made a prediction before this trick started of okay. what card I thought you would pick. I have it written on this piece of paper right here. Oh, it's, it's blank, so actually, I need to fill it in. I need your help though, so <laughs> hold the deck of cards for me just like this. Okay. Perfect, and we're gonna stick the sticky note on it just like that, okay? Check this out, I have a pencil here as well. Right. And we're gonna use the pencil to reveal your card. You still have the card in your mind, right? Yeah. Okay, check this out. Should we just take the pencil, and if we shade it like this. Yeah. <gasps> Whoa! What? Yeah, it's a spade. Is that it? Yeah! That's my card. That's cool. Okay, all you need to pull this one off at home is a piece of paper, like a pad of paper, like post-its work really well. And then you're going to need a ballpoint pen and you're going to need a pencil. So all you're gonna do is take the ballpoint pen and you're going to write the name of the card really hard. You're gonna press down really hard as you write just like this. And then all you're gonna do is peel this one off. It's left an indentation. Take the pencil, you're gonna hold it sideways like this so that you use the broad side of the graphite and you're just gonna color back and forth like this. So what's happening here is the graphite sticking to the paper, but it's not getting down in that indentation. Super easy paper trick, try it out at home. Okay, check this out, this is a really cool one. You have two little rings of paper right here. So watch, I'm gonna take my scissors, snip it right there. Watch, I'm just gonna cut the first ring. So once you have the first ring cut in half, you're gonna take the second ring and cut it in half as well. We snip this ring, and watch, come over here, snip this one. Watch, unfold it, and it unfolds into a square. It's super easy to do, I'll teach you the secret right now. You're just gonna cut a strip of paper and then you're going to cut it in half. You're going to make a plus sign just like this and tape it in place. Now you're going to make rings with each one of the pieces of paper. So once you've got them taped in place like this, your next step is to cut this one in half. You're gonna start by cutting into the first ring just like that and then you're gonna continue cutting it so you have it all the way in half. So we're gonna stop right there and not cut the other ring. And now we're gonna cut through the other ring just like so and then we're gonna cut through this one as well right here all you have to do is let it unfold and it magically turns into the outline of a square okay this is a really cool trick with a brown paper bag and a cup of colorful paper confetti so the brown paper bag is completely empty and the cup of confetti is gonna go right down inside just like this you can see it go inside now watch all I have to do is give the bag a magical wave and a snap and look if we reach down inside 
check this out. The confetti has magically transformed into, look, a magic paper streamer. I'll teach you how to do this right now. All you need to set this one up is some colorful paper confetti, a brown paper bag, and some magic paper mouth coils. We have these available at EvanerraTV.com. You get a pack of five. It's a little paper coil, and it will produce a big long streamer of multicolored paper. You can just pull this out of the paper bag. You just plant it in there when the trick starts, and all you're gonna do is drop the confetti down inside the bag. Then as you gently pull the paper coil, it will unravel, and it looks like the confetti is just magically transformed into this paper streamer. To get rid of the evidence, you can just crumble up the paper bag just like this and throw it away. All right guys, that is it for this video. If you liked it, hit the thumbs up button and share it with someone you think might like it as well. Head over to EvanEraTV.com. The link is in the description. Pick up a magic thumb tip or some of our magic paper mouth coil. We also have a lot of other cool magic tricks and laugh at life merch available now. And it is giveaway time. I'm giving away the magic props from this video. I'm giving away six magic thumb tips and six of our paper mouth coil packs to 12 lucky comments in the comment section down below. All you have to do to be eligible to win the giveaway is hit the thumbs up button and leave a comment down below. Today's keyword is paper. And it's time to announce the giveaway winners from our last How To Magic video. The winners are magically appearing on the screen right here. Send us an email with your full mailing address to this email address on the screen to claim your prize. Thank you to everyone who entered that giveaway and good luck to everyone entering this giveaway drawing. If you missed the last episode of How To Magic, you can catch up by watching it right over there. The shop is right down there if you want to grab some merch and support the channel. Hit the subscribe button if you're new and tap the notification bell so you see all of our videos. And until next time, remember that anything is possible as long as you stay positive, work hard, and laugh at life. Love you guys.